Now, you may have discovered that this is one of the worst times of the year for picking up nasty bugs and viruses, but instead of heading down to your local pharmacy, why not toll through into your own kitchen? Joining us now is the medicinal chef with some great recipes on hand to get you fighting fit for February. Please welcome Dale Pinnock. <laughs> So, fighting fit for February Absolutely. with the right ingredients. Yes. What are these magic ingredients? Well, well, basically what I'm doing is creating therapeutic dishes that are designed to target different ailments and things based on the actual pharmacological activity of Ooh. the ingredients. So, it's not just a case then of building up your strength, it's all the different kinds of things yeah, that are Yeah, it's actually looking at the activities that the ingredients will actually supply. This is a surprising one. We all know about a ginger, I suppose, in winter. Yes. Is this sweet potato? Sweet potato, yeah, that bright orange flesh, that's given by a compound called beta-carotene. OK. Actually, a very strong natural anti-inflammatory. Right, so that stops you yeah. from hurting quite so much. <laughs> You've got here mushrooms. Yes, shiitake mushrooms. These things are amazing. Over 40 years of clinical research been conducted on these. They contain a very special type of sugar called a polysaccharide, yeah. which has been shown to actually elevate white blood cell count. So, obviously, if you've got the sniffles, yes. the more white blood cells you've got in circulation, the better position you are. Right. To fight that so, faster. Sweet potatoes, shiitake mushrooms, shiitake as opposed mushrooms. to any other kind of mushroom. Yes. Right. These? Goji berries, right. Obviously, there's been so much hype about these things. Mm. I mean, if you believe everything you read, they'd make you fly or walk on water or whatever. But they do actually have some interesting compounds. Similar to the mushrooms, they've got the polysaccharides in, but they've also got a mineral in there called germanium, which is actually involved in regulating certain aspects of the immune response. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Well, look, we've got other things. Let's talk about yes. them as they go in, then. I mean, you're, what along. are you going to make for us? Right, this is pretty much my signature dish, actually. This is my <laughs> flu-fighting soup. Oh, get on with this. this time of year And the thing well. to do is to have it before you get it, isn't it, really? Well, you know what? First signs yeah. of the sniffles, cooking up a big batch of this and then having, like, a small portion every, every hour or so. Every hour? Can actually, yeah, just knock it on there. Just like a little cup, just like you would yeah. sip, like a right. cup of soup. First thing going in, red onion. Yeah, I love red now, onion. It's that, got so much sweetness to attach to it. Absolutely. Right. That purple pigment, again, is quite a strong anti-inflammatory compound. Right. So we've got about a, an inch-sized piece of ginger in there. Yeah. The oils in ginger that give it a strong, spicy flavour are actually a very, very powerful anti-inflammatory. So think about it. When you've got a cold and your nose is bunged up, it's not necessarily that you're full of gunk, it's actually because the mucous membranes have become inflamed. Yeah. And this can actually help to take some of that inflammation, inflammation down. down. It's quite cool. Absolutely rapt attention from this audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to say. Right, well, okay. four cloves of garlic, so maybe not the best <laughs> things to have before a date, very unlikely to end well, but those very powerful oils that stay on your breath... Yeah. As they move through the respiratory tract, they can actually kill viruses. It's very interesting to know why these things are good for us, rather than just that yeah, they yeah. are, isn't it? What's that now? Right, there's a green chilli going in. Oh. Chilli contains a chemical called capsaicin. Now, have you ever, ever had that experience where you eat something hot and all of a sudden your nose starts yes. running? Yes! It's a decongestant. Uh, okay. Let's see you think about it all. It all makes sense, doesn't it, really? Yeah. So, so that's going on there. Make sure that's warming up for you. Right. So, literally, it's a case of sautéing these, yeah. sweating the onions and the aromatics off. Yeah. Cool. Always season it at that point as well. A bit of salt. Because yep. that pulls all those flavours out. Once the onion is soft, yeah. you'll then go in with the sweet potato. Yeah. So that'll do for right. the purpose of the demo. The shiitake mushrooms. So every single thing that's going in here has got a purpose, then, yes, hasn't it? Yes, it connects the different elements of what's yeah. going on. Oh, God, one bowl full of this, I'll be flying over this exactly. audience. <laughs> And, not, and not, not dripping on you. You know, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. Right, goji so goji berries going in at that point. Yeah. Cover it with the vegetable stock. Oh, that's spitting well. Cool. Whoop, yeah, that's whoop, your other whoop. one. You're on a spoon. Yeah, so literally cover it with a stock and then let it simmer away until the sweet potato softens. Then into a blender. Yeah. Blend up. Yeah. And would you like to taste it? I would. Well, I'm <laughs> dying to now after all that, right, really. Have you got a bowl? Yeah, there you go. Well, there we are. Yeah. So this is it, one you prepared earlier this in one true I prepared earlier. television true TV style. All right, give that a bash. Oh, soup spoon out. Right. Oh, it looks it's stuck in it there. It looks delicious. It looks a bit like carrot and coriander. But it's got the most amazing flavour. It's such. Oh, it has. It's very complex flavour. Yeah. Cooey. So you get the sweetness <laughs> first, then you get the kick. Here, this is good as that scotch. <laughs> <laughs> you do. It's astonishing the yeah. depth of flavour. Try this because it really is. 
By George, it's kicking in. It's going down there. Huh? <laughs> it's it's fine. Fine. It is. It's, it's a bit fiery, but it is delicious. It and is then, not... now I gather you can turn that into... I'm not surprised, it's almost a curry already. <laughs> but you can turn it into a curry. Well, I always have a tendency to make too much when I make it. I usually make a huge pan full. Then after a couple of days, you get a bit fed up with it. It's a wonderful base for a curry. OK. So, and, I mean, to, that's do that, to do that... We've got about a minute left. Are we all right? OK, that? right. Yeah. Nice and quick, then. Yep. Just a bit of oil. Or olive oil. Yeah, just, just some olive oil. Yep. Onion again. Some onion in there. And then literally... <laughs> Knock that one off the back. <laughs> Get it all over the studio floor. Um, yeah, that was sort of going afterwards. Season. Oh, season, right, OK. Again, sweat the onions. Yep. Throw the chickpeas, a little bit of spinach, and then pour the leftover soup on top on of it. On top of all that. Yep. And then you get this. Now, obviously, you can add other things to it if you didn't want to go yeah, for the Yeah, you've got prawns down here chickpea and, and chicken, spinach. So you, you can, you can do... add a bit of meat then. Yeah, you can do prawns. So this is chicken. your curry then, with yeah. uh, a health giving that, curry. Curries are always, you know, if you've got a curry, you like curry. Oh, Whoa. it's all going well here. It's all going very well. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a Joy Life TV, huh? Wow. Don't put a match to me breath. <laughs> <laughs> it's astonishing. It's fantastic, right? There you are now. You can find full details. If I don't catch fire when I'm saying this, it'll be a miracle. Of Dale's delicious recipes, and they are, believe me, on our website. Oh, there you are, item.com forward slash Alan Titchmarsh. My thanks to the fiery, flu-free Dale Pinnock. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Ooh, there we are, medicinal cookery. It's all in there as well.